Zero Slam back with another video, the recap of the playoffs. Also, I forgot to mention yesterday, we actually had the draft lottery go on, so I'll be recapping that as well. We'll get to a right away draft lottery. New York didn't get the first pick. Sorry, Knicks fans. New York had the eighth pick, I believe. It turned out Minnesota Timberwolves are going to have the first pick in this year's draft. That's big for them. Golden State had the second pick, Charlotte had the third, and the Bulls had the fourth pick. That's, that's big, the Warriors, because you know they're going to have Clay and Steph back this year. Now they're getting the second pick. Are they going to trade that pick? Are they going to draft LaMelo Ball, potentially? It also makes you think, like, what about Bradley Beal? Because the Nets have that front runner. There's also the Nuggets that could have a trade package. And now the Warriors. Think about a trade for Andrew Wiggins, LaMelo Ball, for Bradley Beal. Like, if I'm the Wizards, to be honest, I'm thinking about saying... Bradley Beal's up for grabs if the trade's good enough. And you can have these guys in a bidding war. And you know, Nuggets and the Nets both have assets. Now the Warriors have the second overall pick and Andrew Biggins to match the salary. It's not a bad deal for the Wizards if they want to go to forward. But the Wizards have, I think, the seventh pick or the ninth pick they have to come in the draft as well. Plus, you grab the first, second pick as well. It could work out well. Also, Minnesota getting the first pick. Are they going to draft Edwards? Are they going to trade that? Maybe look at the trade eventually to the Suns for Devin Booker because he's really good friends with D'Lo and, and Anthony Towns. They're all best friends. They all want to play together. Could Devin Booker be on the t one day? It's possible. You never know on the NBA, right? So we'll see how that plays out. But to the playoffs, first game we had yesterday, we had uh, Miami-Indiana. Another great game. Miami controlled pretty much most of the game. Indiana gave a good fight, but Miami seemed like they had that game the whole game. They didn't feel like they were going to lose that game. Duncan Robinson tied a career uh, career best for the Heat with seven threes. Didn't play all the fourth quarter, which was a bit surprising. He was on fire, seven of eight from downtown. Heat still played up, still uh, the win still, and yeah, they're they're up two zero now. That's big for them. Next up, we had uh, the Thunder playing the Rockets, and Thunder started really well. Harden was really struggling shooting this game. Thunder had the young, they had the young guy on him, you know, and he was playing great. And the Thunder just they couldn't score in the second half. It was it was insane because the Rockets shot the most threes in history in a playoff game with fifty six three point shots they had, and they didn't even shoot that well. But it was the fact that the Thunder were just ice cold in the second half. The Rockets won the game. They're up two zero now. We'll see how that plays out. Westbrook hasn't even played yet. Not looking good for the Thunder. If they lose this series, like, where do they go from here? Are they going to a full rebuild next year? Gallinari is a free agent. Maybe go over the Heat. They're interested in him. Then you have Chris Paul. Are they going to trade him? His value is right now. He's had a great year. There's some value in him now if you want to trade him. And you got, you got a young team, right? So Steven Adams, Chris Paul, both could be traded. They could be looking to get some of those draft picks. So we'll, we'll see how that plays out. Thunder are firmly in control too well as well. And the Box of the Magic, I saw this coming. If you didn't see it coming, I'm surprised. The Bucks came out a storm. They beat the Magic pretty decisively. They were controlling the whole game, up by 20 most of the game. Big blow win for the Bucks. Chris Milton struggled the only two points. So that's been has been concerning for me, like going into the second and third round. Like, how does he get play? If they're playing Miami in round two, like you're gonna need Milton to step it up, right? So that's concerning for them. Mont Cooper had a big game. Um, the, ben, uh, the bench stepped up for the Bucks as well. Brook Lopez, big game. And the Magic, other than Vukovic, team struggled. And good defense by the Bucs. It's, they'll probably win the next three games. I don't think Magic are at the game now. I think if the Bucs were kind of like, you know what, first game, we blew it. Let's, let's get our control now. So it seems like every year we have that one good playoff series in the first round. This year looks like it could be a 1 and 8 seed, the Lakers and the Blazers. Now, we saw Blazers win game one. Everyone wondering how would Lakers respond. Well, you know what? They rose to the challenge. They came out with a sense of urgency. They played hard. LeBron, relatively quiet, but still, really good ball distributor. Had some great passes. And Anthony Davis, fantastic game. The guys were hitting their shots today. KCP had a great, great game. He hit four threes. Caruso made a three. Rondo, who didn't play, apparently he's been a mentor to, to Caruso. I never see Rondo play in the playoffs. He's incredible. He's quite the baller. He, he plays hard. We call him playoff Rondo. Can't wait for him to get back to. 
obviously not the greatest shooter, but has so many little things that help out. He's a good defender. He plays hard. He hustles. Also, got a ball, ball handler for the Lakers. Can't wait to have him back. The Lakers, they played a great game. Even uh, J.R. Smith had some minutes there. He missed his first four shots, but then he ended up hitting three threes. I know, I know he missed some as well, but that's him getting back in his rhythm. Also, he didn't play for about a year or longer. So him getting back. I think as the playoffs go, he'll get more minutes. He's a really good three-point shooter. I think he's going to be key come further on the playoffs in the key moments, hitting threes. You know, they're going to have a lot of open threes. LeBron Davis running those screen rolls. Guys are going to be open. LeBron's going to find them. So Lakers are right back to the series now. The, the commanding win tonight. They have blowouts. Look for that. Lakers, they look like the team they were. Obviously, Lillard hurt his finger, but they could, I think they, they're going to have this series five or six now. Could even go seven. I, I don't think it will. Lakers didn't find their rhythm now, and they're only going to get better from here. I feel like right before the, the bubble, uh, right before the, the stoppage and play there, they were playing really well as a team. They were playing better each game, and they had three months off. So look for Lakers now to really keep it going, play off some momentum, and we'll see how they play. We got some good games coming up today as well. So the Raptors and Nets are playing again. Raps have really dominated that series for the most part. Game two was a little closer, but in the end, the Raptors, they just scraped out a win. You got um, the Nuggets and Jazz playing again. See how that plays out. Series tied 1 1. And then the East Hill game we got there. The Celtics and the Sixers. Say the Raptors and Nets, it could be a lost cause for the Sixers. There. Brett Brown, this could be his last time coaching the Sixers, you know, this series here. He might have a job next season, so we'll see how that goes. And then, of course, the, the final the final uh, game of the night, we got the Clippers playing the Mavericks. That's going to be a fun game. Obviously, the Mavericks won the last game. The whole team effort there, so we'll see how the Clippers respond tonight. I'm hoping for a good game, a nice close game. We'll see if the Mavericks keep momentum rolling, and it's going to be a, it's going to be a good series. That's all I got for you guys today. Make sure you come back tomorrow. I'll recap it again tomorrow. The next games that are happening today. Thanks for watching, guys.